This is the third video in a three-part series on how to make a mezzotint. In this one, we will focus on how to print the mezzotint plate. If you've not yet watched the first two videos, you might want to do that first. All right, we're ready to print the mezzotint plate now. And so I've got my ink out here. This is an oil-based ink. What I'm using here is actually a combination Graphic Chemical Blue Black 327, my old favorite, and Portland Cool Black with a little bit of Easy White mixed into it as well. I'm rolling this out uh, rather than applying it with a cardboard chip, but I'm rolling it out real heavy here just to transfer the ink over to the plate. I'm applying the ink with a brayer so that I don't accidentally scratch the surface, which is quite easy to do if you're applying the ink with a cardboard chip. So I'm putting the ink on a little bit thicker than I would with a cardboard chip and just making sure I've got the whole plate totally saturated. Almost there. I'm going to start with this dirty tarlatan, which has been used before. Tarlatan is an open mesh fabric, which will pick up the ink in the holes. And I'll take off the bulk of the ink with this dirty tarlatan. Constantly rearranging it to find a cleaner area. Balling it into a fist sized ball. Right now I'm moving the ink around, but I'm actually also pushing it down into the grooves. And at a certain point, you'll start to see the image. Not quite yet. All right, that has picked up the bulk of the ink on this dirty tarlatan. And I'll switch over to a medium tarlatan. It may look like I'm pushing down hard, but I'm really being rather gentle and massaging the plate more than rough handling it. Now we're starting to see the image as we take off the excess ink. And you want to be careful not to wipe the center of the plate too much. Focus on the edges a little bit. Otherwise, it's easy to overwipe the middle of the plate. At this point, I'm going to switch over to the clean tarlatan. I don't see much surface ink left on there. Mostly what I see is what I want to see. 
But this is the beginning of the polish. Backing up the surface, pulling out the highlights. Now we know that mezzotint is an intaglio process and to compare intaglio to relief printing. In relief printing, the surface of the block holds the ink and the recess is white. The lower parts are white and you roll ink onto the surface and print it. In etching and intaglio printing, it's basically the opposite, meaning that the ink is down in the grooves and the surface is wiped clean. And that holds true to a certain extent, but with the mesotint, remember, the raised part is the rough part, and that's holding the ink. The recessed parts are the lighter parts. So it's really somewhere in between relief and intaglio. The reason that is important now is because at this point, we want to switch over to our final white. And rather than doing that with a piece of paper, the yellow pages is commonly used, we need to use our palm or our hand so that we can get down into the recesses and really make those bright areas shine. There isn't much ink left on the surface at this point, so I'm not getting a whole lot of ink on my hand, but I am polishing those bright areas. And I'm going in the direction of the image, get those edges. everything up nicely. So for all the ink we started with before we wiped with the tarlatan, wiping that whole plate with my hand, that's all the ink I've gotten off. Not a whole lot. All right, last thing is to wipe the edges. I'm gonna clean the beveled edges with a nice clean rag. That should do it, and we are ready to print. All right, so plate is totally inked up, ready to be printed. We move it over to the press, align it on our template. paper that I'm printing on is Hahnemuller copper plate. I recommend copper plate or German etching paper, and I sometimes use Fabriano Murillo from Mesotec. So I'll let the excess water drip off, and then bring it over to our blotting station, where I'll be blotting it between couple of microfiber blankets to get the standing water off of it. Keep it moist but not wet. Do that a couple times. Check 
check the surface for any dirt or hairs or marks or anything. And looks good. All right, let's move the paper over to the press. And we're going to run it through this heavy roller on top of this press. We'll really push the paper down into the grooves, pick up all of that ink. The quality of the press makes a big difference with Mesotint. You can't really print it on a small press for me. The larger the upper roller, the better the image is going to be. It takes quite a bit of pressure to print a mesotint well. So the more pressure you use, also the quicker your plate will break down. It's a trade-off. 